Hey everyone, Dan out of here. Welcome to another edition of Detroit Speed's Tech Talk. Today, we're going to talk to you about the subframe connectors that are offered by Detroit Speed. Detroit Speed subframe connector applications include 1967 to 92 Camaro Firebird, 1962 to 74 Chevy 2s and Novas, 1964 and a half to 70 Mustang, 1979 to 93 Mustang, as well as 1979 to 86 Mercury Capris. The reason it's necessary to install a subframe connector on a unibody muscle car is because the unibody has a front subframe and a rear subframe, and the only thing tying it together is the body. So in a heavy cornering or hard acceleration, the body wants to twist. So when you add that subframe connector in, it essentially ties the front and rear together, making it a full chassis, which will help reduce body twist in your vehicle. There are many various subframe connectors on the market today, including bolt-in and weld-in. Detroit Speed has chosen to do a fabricated weld-in constructed subframe connector. The reason is because with a bolt-in connector, all the twist and load is being distributed on two bolts holding the frame together. When you install a welded subframe connector, not only does it package better, but it's gonna give you a full frame capability. Looking at our subframe connector display cart, we're showing the 1967 to 69 Camaro application. As you can see, there's weld-in brackets to tie into your front subframe right at the end. So you're gonna weld this right here to make that full frame. You can also see there's a reference line for the floor pan location. So not only do these package well, you can't see them from underneath the vehicle because they kind of come in and out of the floor pan. The great thing is, is that factory molded carpet will still go over it. Some other great features about our subframe connectors is that they don't interfere with seat mounting hardware. They can also be installed on convertibles. Now for this application, you can see there's a laser cut fish mouth that's gonna tie into the rear subframe. All of our connectors are fabricated from rectangular steel tubing. They're also bent and TIG welded in fixtures for repeatability and precision. Now all of our connector kits also include everything you need such as cut templates and instructions to make sure you have a great install. Not all Detroit Speed subframe connectors are the same. So for the 82 to 92 Camaro Firebird application, we use a one and a half by two and a half inch rectangular steel tubing with 083 wall. It also provides a great jacking rail as it's installed right at the pinch weld. And it also features a great place to mount a roll cage and includes a seat belt anchor, whether you're doing a lap belt or a race style harness. For the 1960 to four and a half to 70 Mustang applications, we also use a similar one and a half by two and a half inch rectangular steel tubing that has wall thickness of 083 inches. Now this one also has a front saddle and some end caps to help increase stiffness and strength in the connectors. and also ties into the rear torque box that's included with the Detroit Speed Quadrant or Mini Tub Kit. What we have here is our newest subframe connector that we brought to the market, which is for the 79 to 93 Fox Body Mustang or 79 to 86 Mercury Capri. Now it's a similar two by two inch rectangular steel tubing with 083 wall thickness and 90,000 thick steel plating. As you can see, there's a seat belt mounting anchor that's much stronger than factory. It's gonna provide maximum torsional stiffness between the front and the rear subframe. Once installed, the connectors do not hang lower than the pinch weld, so ground clearance is unaffected. So one thing that sets these Fox Body Mustang subframe connectors apart from what else is on the market is not only is it a connector, it's also a torque box reinforcement. So you're taking two common Fox Body problems and solving them with one integrated solution. Now it's important to reinforce the lower link pocket as well as the torque box because in these applications from the factory you see a lot of common cracking in those areas and they even can rip out. So this connector is going to provide you with a full frame rail from the rear torque box to the firewall. And the great thing is it can also be installed with factory suspension. The last thing we want to talk about is our solid body mounts and bolt kits that we offer and is recommended with the subframe connectors. Now these applications for these include 67 to 81 Camaro Firebird as well as 1968 to 74 Nova. So normally from the factory the body mounts consist of rubber or even a urethane upgrade. The solid body mount is recommended with a subframe connector because once you have the connector in a nice stiff chassis, the body can roll in a chassis with a softer body mount. So solid body mount is going to help increase the torsional rigidity of the suspension with the body and the chassis acting as one unit. So here you can see the body mounts that we supply. As you can see, there's four rear body mounts as well as a shorter core support body mount. And these are made from CNC billet aluminum right here at Detroit Speed. And they're hard coat aluminum 
which is going to help with corrosion resistance over time as opposed to regular anodized. They also come with really nice beveled stainless steel washers to go on top. Another thing we offer is an ARP stainless steel bolt gate, which not only looks good, but it's going to hold up good to corrosion and is really the best bolt on the market. Another thing we offer for the 1967 to 69 Camaro Firebird and 68 to 74 Nova is a half height version of these. These body mounts are going to stand up about three quarters of an inch. The half heights are three eighths of an inch. So what that's going to do is it's going to drop the body on your frame by about three eighths of an inch to get you that extra cool lowered stance look. Subframe connectors, body mounts, and bolts are essential to your vehicle for not only spirited driving, but having some fun at the track. If you have any questions, please call us at 704-662-3272 or send us an email at sales at DetroitSpeed.com. You can also visit our website at DetroitSpeed.com or any of our social media outlets.